Now let us make it really interesting. Let us discuss the case of sine to the power 10x. Uh, can you just explain what do we what do you mean by ignoring graph at x axis what do you exactly mean by ignoring graph at x axis okay fine it seems you understood it by yourself so let us uh, discuss the graph of sin to the power 10x now look at this part this was original sin x and we are multiplying it by itself 10 times 10 times a decimal is multiplied suppose a height is 0.2 say this height so 0.2 is multiplied 10 times just imagine how small it will become if 0.2 is multiplied by 10 times just to give you example it will be in the range of 10 to the power minus 7 10 to the power minus 7 is a very small number in comparison to 0.2 so it is going to go very very low one can talk about sin to the power 100x no problem it will become even lower and lower and lower but at 1 there is nothing like that that is going to happen so let me use some other color so it is going to crawl but eventually it will manage to reach the maximum height of one unit now as far as the second part is concerned this much this one over one this is sin x then sin to the power 10 means it will be positive so it will just be like that now if you are wondering why then take that same height of minus point to this time and multiply minus point to by 10 times minus point to into minus point to and so on and you will see there is no difference in the heights attained with sign so these are going to be the same and what do you think would be the time period of sign to the power 10x the period of sign to the power yes pi is absolutely right what do you what are you going to answer if someone asks you the period of sin to the power 199x
Yes, 2 pi is absolutely correct. So from this uh, detailed exercise, I think you must be feeling quite okay as far as squaring and cubing etc is concerned for sine function. The same thing can be extended to the cos function. And we also covered taking the mod here.